Another method for finding true south is first to find true north, and then as has been pointed out before, turn 180 degrees, that will give you the direction towards true south. We have multiple methods for doing this. One method that has been used in the past, decades past, by surveyors is what's called shooting the North Star. We have a couple of methods for shooting the North Star. We're going to start with the one that's the most primitive. This is a little inconvenient because it has to be done at night and it can only be done uh, on a, a clear sky night. Shooting the North Star requires that you can see the North Star. An easy way to find the North Star is with the asterism known as the Big Dipper. And people are going to say when they see this, what the heck is an asterism? An asterism is a grouping of stars that is part of one or more constellations, but that particular grouping is not officially a constellation. It just has a unique shape that it draws in the sky that's recognizable to people. And typically it's named, for example, the Big Dipper is one that's fairly recognizable, but it's not a constellation. It is part of the constellation Ursa Major. So we use the Big Dipper asterism and the Little Dipper, which is part of Ursa Minor. We can use both of those to find the North Star. Once we have located the North Star at night, as the Earth rotates, Polaris, also known as the North Star, stays stationary in the sky. It does that because the rotating axis of the Earth is pointing toward Polaris and as the Earth rotates, the tip of the axis does not move. Everything else rotates around the tip of the axis, which is why Polaris indicates the direction toward true geographic north. Here's the primitive method for shooting the North Star. Now we're in the daytime, we don't have a star available. We have a small wind generator tower over here to my left. I'm going to use the second guy bracket, guy wire bracket down from the top. I'm going to pretend that's Polaris, our North Star, and we're going to line up on that as if it was the middle of the night on a clear sky night and we were shooting the North Star. So step one is you put a stake in the ground. You don't want it to be too short, otherwise you're going to be laying on the ground to do this. But you do want it to be firmly planted. I like something no lower than my chin, even taller than the top of my head is fine. Get it planted in the ground so it's not going to move. Then we get a shorter stick. Something straight and sturdy. Here's my shorter stick. Now notice this one is leaning a little bit. I don't care if it's leaning this way, leaning that way, leaning here. What I'm concerned about is the tip, the very top of this. That's what I want to make sure is going to be there in the morning when I come back. So I want that tip laid up like this. So now I'm going to come out here, moving back toward the south, because there's my north star. Now I'm going to squat down, and I'm going to align my sticks with the pole, because I'm using that, that tower pole as, as my guide to north. And I'm going to move in and out until I get to the point where I can say, aha, I have the tips of these two stakes aligned with that second guy bracket right about there. So I'm going to move this in just a hair, get this guy twisted into the ground. Now, normally I would use something a little more rigid than bamboo, and I might even have a three pound hammer to tap these things into the ground because I don't want them to move. I check my alignment. Oh, I'm not aligned well, so I have to come back over here to the side, put it in again. You can see why this is the primitive method. Lining up like this, and that is pretty doggone good. Now, I have my sticks planted, firmly attached in the ground so they're not going to move, and I have aligned the tip of this one to the tip of this one with where my eyeball was to just below my north star point. Of course, the more accurate I am on the North Star vertically, or what's called elevation-wise, the better. But the fact that I have a pole to line up on in this case, I wanted you to be able to see the bracket at the top, and you can see that I'm on the pole. So now if I draw a line between these two stakes right here, I have a true north-south line, having shot the North Star. 
we're going to bring the camera in here and you're going to be able to see up these and see how now we don't have the tips of the sticks lined up perfectly but i wanted you to be able to see the tops of the stakes hopefully you can see the tower in the background that we're aligned with so shooting the north star with the primitive two stick method involves doing this at night then going and getting a good night's sleep when you come back in the morning this is what you're going to do you're going to get a third stick and you're going to have someone sight with these and someone sight with the other stick and all you have to do is move over this way and look straight out and as long as you are totally blocking the tip of this one with this one you can tell by moving your head back and forth and then putting a third stick out there far enough the longer that is away the more accurate your true south and north line is going to be so you you set a second stick out there lined up with these two and you can come in and you can sight down like this you should be able to see my eyeball right in the camera and you can check is that on the line you can lay a tape down from here to there and now you know what your true north south line is how do i find true east and west 90 degrees off of that line in both directions then you can do 45 degrees you can start to lay out a compass rose right on the ground oriented true north south using the two stick primitive shoot polaris method touchdown